Williams at the other end. Oh, you're running that? All right. Yeah, you go, Bart. All right, and to our live stream folks as well, say hello as well. So here we go. So the first ever presenter in Pete's Meet in Belfast. Uh, folks, what I want to talk to you about today is about a murder mystery that we ran in school last year. And um, I can't remember now what I've taken out of this presentation, but I don't, so don't blame me if it goes wrong or it gets a wee bit mixed up. I said I would do seven minutes. Um, I know, I'm known to rattle on about it, so uh, I might not get to the end of this, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Um, the idea for running the murder mystery day was that we wanted to uh, do a connected learning event, um, which Give the kids a fun day for a start, but also we work in a school with 1,500 students, and uh, we have 230 in our year eight. And those kids don't get an awful lot of chance to meet each other and get to know each other, and they're, they're also strictly screened by ability. Uh, so the idea was, my idea was to have this day where the kids would be mixed up, mixed ability groups, and given a task, a problem to solve, and the whole day would be spent trying to solve that. The, who murdered Miss Armstrong. Miss Armstrong, by the way, doesn't exist. Uh, she's uh, fictitious. Um, so, when we're looking at the big picture, we're looking at thinking, problem solving, decision making, managing information, because we're going to actually be bombarded with lots and lots of information, lots of clues, lots of ideas, websites, things like that. And uh, working with others, which was a massive big part of it, um, because we were taking people out of their comfort zone and putting them in with new people, and they would have to work together. Um, we picked two departments uh, to collaborate on this, so science uh, collaborated along with PE. And, uh, we didn't tell the kids what was happening. We said, tomorrow, Friday, just come in in your own clothes. Something's going to happen in the school. And that was it. Be prepared to get wet and dirty. You know, and, that, and that's all they were told. So they came into the hall, and up came that screen you see in there. There's been a murder. And we, and we, we camped it up a bit and you know, really made a big deal about it. Uh, so they were put into groups and then they were taken off to science for forensic training. Um, they did flame tests, chromatography, I think that word is, okay, fingerprinting, and you know, it was a wee bit of fun. Um, that guy in the middle, by the way, and he fell on his bike the day before, that was most of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and each group had a teacher with them as well for the full day, and the teacher was in civics as well. Uh, and it was much, much more relaxed uh, that type of day. We had the school done up uh, with police tape, and that wasn't out of the joke shop that we actually had to go to Saban or EC station or, or PSNI station. <laughs> <laughs> get that. But an interesting story about it is that they actually measured it out and said, We want to get X amount of meters back again. Right? They didn't trust us, and, and, we, and when we cut it up and stuff like that, they came on the next day and took it all back and measured it all up to make sure we gave them back everything. Um, and these suits as well were donated by the PSNI. Now, this, is, this is a big issue for a CCMS school in Saban. That the police were actually helping us uh, run this day. Um, and that's one of our uh, science technicians there. So we had 10 science rooms and uh, we had two groups going to each room uh, doing this training for an hour and a half. And because there was learning in it as well, uh, what happened was the teams then played against each other. One of these games, Crossbusters, I don't know if, you're, if you know it. Uh, nice wee plenary tool. Um, and it was best of three. And uh, the winners then, the, the scores were going to pop through to me. I was in central command in the, in the assembly hall, and all this information was coming back to me through Google Docs, through a, a, a Google form. Um, the PE department, I think they got the wrong message when I said a word of mystery day. I think they, they, I said song reenactment or something like that. Uh, that's our head of department there. Um, uh, it assures me that's a starting pistol, it's not real. Um, and the games that played, it was team building games basically. Now, the, the link with Murder Mystery was sort of tenuous at this stage, but it doesn't matter. This is one of the, the focuses that we had, was to get kids uh, involved in problem solving. And so they played games like that. There was another game called, uh, what was it called? Blind Shepherd or Blind Sheepdog, where you had to guide somebody who was, who was blindfolded through a maze and with a whistle. So you had to break a code beforehand. And you see your leaders coming through. In that situation, somebody just taken over and said, look, this is how we do it, and this is how we'll, we'll get through it. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, that's actually a teacher of a student. She's very small. Uh, must be great. And there's one of her groups. And what they're, do what they're doing is they're doing an orienteering course around the school as well. So we try to build as much in as possible. Groups which uh, 
uh, scored best on each activity were then given clues. Okay? So the clues, and this is another aim of this was to actually show teachers some of the web two tools that they can um, that they can use with their classroom. That was another one of my agendas here. Uh, so one of the things, and I'm embarrassing this before my fake wall, so we actually had a, a mocked up Facebook page um, uh, for the murder, and this teacher here, Miss Gallagher, uh, she was the decoy, she was the, she was the person I was trying to make it look like was the murderer, um, but she wasn't the murderer at all, so if you're ever wrong on this, you always have to have somebody who looks obviously like the murderer. Um, we had links to websites about poisons and so on, so there was a bit of literacy in it where they had to actually read and try and find out information. I mentioned Google Docs. Um, and all of this was contained on a, on a, a, a blog, uh, through Edgy Blogs, a free blog. I don't know whether to click through to that or not, or just leave it. No, I don't think it will, because it might go wrong. But, uh, many of the language teachers here know about Vokey, so we had regular updates coming through on this blog from uh, the chief inspector who was telling them about new pieces of evidence that they had found, um, or a bit of information that comes through. So for example, our, our vice principal had to go to a meeting that afternoon, and the chief constable came on and said, Mr. Early has gone missing. We feel that he has done a runner, and there, if anybody sees him, please contact us immediately. So Mr. Early was on the phone for committing the murder. Um, we then gathered up a number of suspects. And obviously, this was all done before. We used voice thread uh, to have pictures. You can let me go. One minute. One minute. Uh, we, we used pictures, and uh, we, we actually got them to do their uh, statements. Uh, to the police through that, so the kids really watched us in the rooms along uh, um, in their groups. Um, and then finally at the end, we had a Google form, and one of the biggest things about it was if you worked hard for your team and your group, and what I was glad to see was it wasn't always the most able kids, the kids in the highest class that were coming through there. Actually, a lot of the kids from the lower classes were showing that they had great leadership skills and great problem solving skills, and they were celebrated because when we went into the hall, these people were brought up and then rewarded for their, for their efforts. Um, I've gone back to this again because in terms of learning experiences, you had investigation and problem solving. It was relevant and enjoyable. Uh, it was varied. There was community spirit, uh, resourcefulness, determination. Peer and self-assessment was in there. It was inquiry-based. And finally, oh! the most important one. <laughs> 